Johnny. And it's time for us to have a talk. We need to talk about something. Ramen. Now, when I was a kid, my mom bought some itchy bad noodles from the store. And she claimed that it was pronounced Ikebon. And to this day, I still am not 100% sure if she was kidding when she said that or not. Now, when it comes to ramen noodles, Ichiban. Ichiban, lipstick for men. Ichiban, lipstick for men. Saiko. Ichiban, despite actually meaning number one, is actually towards the bottom end of the barrel. Like, we're not talking no Mr. Noodles bad, but we're talking not particularly great. When I got older, as a young adult, I'd frequently have ramen for lunch. Again, your run-of-the-mill instant noodles just add water. But I tried different brands and different styles, and what I found was that the more flavor packets per package of ramen, the better tasting the ramen would be. So again, bottom of the barrel, Mr. Noodle, no flavor packets, no good. Mama brand noodles, on the other hand, especially the creamy shrimp Tom Yum, had three flavor packets and was nothing but delicious. But this did nothing to prepare me for the wonder that is a steaming hot bowl of fresh made delicious ramen. I was watching this cooking show with my wife. And it was all about ramen, and that was it. I knew that I had to try some ramen. I did, and I fell in love with it. In fact, I would prefer a good bowl of ramen to a good plate of sushi any day of the week, almost. Now, I'm not a connoisseur of ramen by any stretch of the imagination, but I certainly have my favorite place to go. And I find that eating a bowl of ramen can actually be intensely personal, even if you're amongst friends and family. There's something about having your head deep into that bowl, the noodles swimming everywhere, the assault on your senses, the taste, the smell, the mouthfeel. God, what a good word, mouthfeel. So if you haven't tried a bowl of fresh ramen, you really should. And remember, kids, hot nudes are fun.